Now, the Los Angeles Unified School Superintendent, John Deasy, has fought for a long time to have students' test scores be a part of the uh, performance review of the um, teachers. And uh, I think this is I think this is so dumb. Um, now, who set the tests? Is it the school set the tests for this class, or the teachers self set the test? And um, you know, it's so stupid. Basically, I don't know if this um, person here, Mr. John D Z, has any uh, training in education because sometimes, uh, like in Florida, the school district, his uh, superintendent, his name was um. John, um, whatever, but he was a, a soldier. I don't think he ever did education. John Fryer, you know, I don't think he did education because once I went to the school board and I made a presentation how to improve students' performance, and he was so jealous, man. He said that I'd be writing threatening letters to the school board and uh, had me trying to confess it, and then I found a gun in my house. Had I confessed to the uh, gun and get a gun and give me some time in jail or mental health treatment or whatever. That's the kind of uh, superintendent we have. And I think that this guy here just is the same. He doesn't have training in education. He has no station. Now, if the teacher is small, or if this all fifth grades are um, going to be set by the school administration for all the students across the um, school district, that's another matter. Without knowing all that, I'm going to say this. And I know that I set tests for students in class. You have to make it very easy that everybody will pass. For example, you might ask uh, the question, um, what pumps the blood through the body? You say a bicycle pump, gas station pump. You say uh, uh, the person um, uses a hand pump or the heart. I mean, any, and you know, by the way, some students will say the hand pump. Some will say the gas station pump. Some will even say the cycle pump. But the majority will say the heart because they will remember that, or they might know they have a heart, and if you asked it, the question that would be, of course, the heart. And then in the lesson, they would have picked up something, okay? So everybody score well, everybody does well, and then I get good um, thing. Now, the, the, the agreement that they haven't uh, come to is that um, whether this student's performance and, and improvement is going to be half, a third, or what percentage of the teacher's evaluation. And, and I think that's so dumb. Look, stop blaming the teachers, okay? They're students. Look, students don't study, period. I've asked the question in several classes. I say, how many of you study any time after school? Nobody raises their hand. Um, this, they tell you straight, I study none at all, but I'm on the honor roll. So how you could be on the honor roll and you're not studying? What you study in class, you have to go and study... If you study 15 minutes in class, you have to go and spend like two, three hours uh, on that same thing to really remember it and to be able to use it in different ways and, and so forth and so on. So, as soon as the class finished, they go on hustling, see if we could get sex. Uh, you know, in, in the interim, during the recess, more sex they're seeking um, they, on the school bus. They're all talking a bunch of stupid stuff. Nobody's studying well. You know, we did this today, but then we enjoyed the part. This one is this, that. They have studied that period, man. They don't even talk politics. I don't know what they'll be talking about. So, unless the students are going to study at home, look, I told some students, I say, you know what, when I was in high school, we get at 3 o'clock in the morning to study. They said, they, they want to vomit. 3 o'clock. <laughs> you know, when you go at 3 o'clock after watching all kinds of stupid horror movies and reading, playing with magic and, and reach up and, and uh, wake and all that stuff. So, to make a long story short, I think that the teacher's performance should be based on this. It has nothing to do with students' performance, okay? Uh, because I think that all teachers will want the students to perform well. I mean, I don't see them teaching and just hope that everybody fail. Um, so their evaluation will be how their attendance, if they attend school every year, um, every day, if they, they should submit their school plan. Every week they should su submit to the school the plan that they use for the lesson for the week or whatever. If they're teaching different, er different topics, they have a lesson plan for that. They should hand that in. Uh, the way they get along with fellow um, teachers, if they're not exhibiting inappropriate behavior with students, so much of secret, you know, single meetings. In, if they're having a single meeting with a student, 
there should be a, a room where they're going to meet. Not in the classroom, but somewhere in the administrative office. Okay, their privacy, there's glass there, the meeting there to have discussions. Um, what else? The, the, the outside activity should test them to see if they're using drugs also, smoking weed or they're using crack or they're using cocaine. They should test all of that. And um, if they're improving themselves, if they're still like going to do refresher courses, um, if they, you know, refresh courses, uh, if they're uh, registering in college, if they're teaching biology, so get a degree in biology, uh, doing a master's degree, all that should come towards the evaluation. But students' performance should have nothing to do with the period. I mean, of course, that is the whole purpose of education. But what about the students and the parents' part? They ought to be studying, um, you know, memorizing the stuff, uh, trying to see how they could use it in life. Because I was teaching in a school in California, and um, it's in a farming area. And um, they, in this agriculture class, I asked these guys, I said, um, do you guys do jobs for people? In other words, they are studying how to bud, how to take one plant and put it on the next plant. Say, in other words, if you have, they could have one tree in the yard, and you could put tangerine, you could put orange, you could put grapefruit, you could put a lot of citrus fruits in, bud it in. And then on this one tree, you'll have these five different, six different uh, fruits. So you have lime, you have all of them right there, one tree. I say, if you perfect this thing, you can go to your neighbors and say, look, um, I'm going to have you to have one tree here, and you'll have all your citrus fruits. I'll have you one mango tree here, and you'll have a whole variety of different mangoes. Same thing with an apple tree, perhaps, if it's possible. Also, I'll say, you see this piece of land here, how it is barren, no grass growing? I'm going to get you grass right here. They're going to, you know, put uh, humus, manure, um, sort of hay, and, and Soil and so forth, and plant some grass in there. You know, I tell you, so let's do that. You can make some money in the side. Say, <laughs> uh, you didn't study that. I don't know why it's in agriculture anyway. You know, things like that. Um, parents should be encouraging the students. Um, I, I recall in my school uh, back home um, as a child, some parent family come from out of town and they take the child out for that week or however long the, the people in the going to the beach, they go to other counties and so on. And the teachers are saying, listen. This child's education is important. Another one, uh, when Miriam Makiba came to the Caribbean and she was saying, Eclea, even, uh, oh, Britannia. This girl, she was able to imitate it perfectly. And her mom's trying to organize concerts for her and so on. You see, in our country, you know, they don't waste time with it. The teacher told the mom, say, look, this girl doesn't have no musical talent. And right now she's copying Miriam Makiba and it's popular. But when people forget Miriam Makiba, she's left right there. What she's going to do, let her get her education in. That was good advice. You see, we don't play games in the care, we don't political correctness. Oh, your child has some talent. Oh, yes, they will be the next, uh, um, you know, whatever. Um, you know, so parents also need to join with the teachers and help them support them because you can't spank them if they don't do what you ask them to do. You can't do nothing about it. I recall in Florida, I say, I do not want to do anything today. And by law, I could sit on this class and say nothing and do nothing, and you can't do anything about it. So I asked, I called somebody to ask them, that's true. They say, yeah, that's true. The legislator passed such a law. So you could sit down there, and what I found is that he's sitting down there, but guess what? He's engaging the other students now in conversation and wasting their time. He isn't doing anything because he says he didn't feel like doing anything. And um, of course, however long he wants to do that, he has a right to do it. And then you find that. Uh, those periods that he was playing games with, when a test is kind of bordering on that, he can't perform. So, you see what I'm saying? So, to, to blame teachers for students' poor performance. And then, look, we're dummy dumb education here. We should have a school where the gifted go. And they're more than just this few that Florida is have over there, gifted. Okay? They like a couple of them. They say they're gifted and they teach them how to, you know, look for um, patterns, look for similarities. I mean, gifted, I never went through that kind of stuff. But I think I'm gifted. So, uh, I mean, they say you could teach it, but I would like to follow up some of these kids to see what they're doing in life. They went to Harvard, Yale, wherever. And, and they say, just let's smoke in out there and same-sex marriage, whatever. You know, they're not doing anything that you would have thought a genius would do. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, we should have had a place where truly gifted kids will be guided up to Harvard, Yale, 
what is in between who are going to go to a four-year college and probably be a civil servant and so on. And then we have another track with folks who go straight and pick corn and, and, and you know, work in agriculture and, and do the trades and so on. Not that it doesn't require good people because, of course, uh, mechanics and, and building construction, serious people could die. You could call the man for breaks not to work and you're going to kill a whole bunch of people or the house to collapse and so forth. They need to, in every walk of life, but some people don't have the ability to really be very um, sort of visual and, and, and thinking about beyond and, and the next hundred years, whatever and so on. They could just deal with practical stuff like now, this car, you know, this and that, this engine, you know, whatever. They are not even thinking the next generation of cars, but there's a place for them. Fix this engine here, you know, change the rings, do whatever, change the oil, whatever. You see what I'm saying? So I, I think that this is a cop out here and trying to make blame teachers. There are students who shouldn't be in school. They're mentally ill. You have to put them on all kind of medication. I see a girl stretch out, actually, intensive, intensive care. She has to have a nurse, she has to have this, a teach somebody to take notes, somebody to do her homework. I mean, it's just a waste of time. I mean, it's nice to see, oh, we have everybody has a chance and whatever. But I mean, this, this person here that is in, a, in I, I see you kind of thing. I mean, what she's going to do when she graduates? Is she going to go and be president or something like that? We even graduating Down syndrome kids. I mean, we, we have to get this thing straight. And, and a lot of parents would like this thing that the children could go to Harvard. But, I mean, there's a Harvard over there that is um, harvest, you know, cabbage and tomatoes. You know, there's a Yale over there that, you know, um, clean poop and so forth. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think this is correct.